Welcome to Titan, Saturn's largest moon and the most fascinating celestial body in our solar system. With a thick atmosphere which contains complex organic compounds and its potential for harboring life, Titan is a world that begs for exploration. But what really makes this moon so interesting? Is it the possibility of a subsurface ocean or the towering dunes that stretch for miles? And could life exist in this bizarre and exotic world? Join us as we embark on a quest to uncover the secrets of Titan and answer the question that has captivated scientists and space enthusiasts alike for years. Is there a possibility of life there? Let's find out. Titan is Saturn's largest moon, and it's enormous. It has a diameter of 3,200 miles, which makes it larger than Mercury and only slightly smaller than Mars. Despite its size, any amateur astronomer can study Titan without a professional-grade telescope. Christian Higgins, an astronomer, discovered it in 1655 when he discovered an object moving alongside Saturn. It had previously been observed but was assumed to be a star. Titan remained a major mystery until it was visited for the first time by the Pioneer 11 probe, and then by Voyager 1 and 2. However, these first images could tell very little about the satellite, but they already showcased something unusual. The haze that obscured Titan from the eyes of the scientist turned out to be layered, with its top layer mainly composed of hydrogen and nitrogen. Further attempts to study Titan with the Hubble telescope were unsuccessful, but research was revived by Carl Sagan, a renowned astrophysicist and planetary science promoter. Carl Sagan proposed that if the temperature on Titan's surface is negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, the liquid methane that forms at the temperature could be spread across the entire surface. This would imply that Titan is the place to visit if you want to see a methane ocean. Anyone who has used a gas stove knows that the gas we use to cook with is methane. Imagine a place where this gas has turned into a liquid, where it falls from the sky as rain, fills methane rivers, and flows into massive methane seas. The Cassini probe was launched to Saturn in 1997 with the mission of studying the planet and its satellite. Even though Titan wasn't the main focus of this journey, the Cassini probe included a special lander spacecraft, Huygens, that was launched towards Titan in 2004. Almost half of the data recorded in the process of its landing was lost, but scientists still got the opportunity to study the journey to the surface of Titan. The descent took about two and a half hours. The atmosphere on Titan was so dense that Huygens floated down with a parachute veered off course and spun so fast that many images taken during the process were ruined. Titan's atmosphere is clearly divided into several layers composed of different substances and varying in temperature. While the temperature on the surface is negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, it's much warmer at a height of 200 miles. At negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit, Titan's sky turns blue at the very top because it is mostly nitrogen and hydrogen. However, at a height of about 250 miles, the orange haze begins to form, and it continues all the way down to 60 miles, clearing only as you approach the surface. During the Huygen probe's landing, it was discovered that Titan's surface is covered in a thick layer of organic molecules, primarily hydrocarbons. Titan's unique weather cycle is based on these molecules, in which liquid methane and ethane rain from the atmosphere, eroding the landscape and carving out river channels that eventually flow into vast lakes and seas of liquid methane and ethane. Titan's lakes and seas are among its most interesting features. These bodies of liquid are not only the only stable bodies of liquid on any other world besides Earth, but they also support a unique weather cycle in which methane rainstorms feed into the rivers which flow into seas, eventually evaporating and forming methane clouds which feed back into the cycle. The Cassini spacecraft discovered a massive 260 mile wild lake called Legea Mare in 2012, which is larger than any of the North American Great Lakes and is Titan's second largest body of liquid after the Kraken Mare, which spans over 620 miles. The possibility of life on Titan is one of its most interesting topics. While the surface is inhospitable to life as we know it, there is a chance that life exists in the subsurface ocean of liquid water believed to exist beneath the ice crust. The conditions in this ocean are similar to those found in Earth's early 
early oceans, where life was thought to have originated? We will explore this question further later, but first, let's take a closer look at Titan's surface topography to better understand it. Scientists have been able to make some observations about the topography of the moon using advanced cameras and radar. Using the VIMS camera, or VIMS, scientists got an approximation of what the surface would look like to human eyes. Surprisingly, it resembles Earth. When we compare the radar-captured topographic map to Earth, we get a sense of deja vu. However, there are only a few craters on Titan caused by meteorite impacts, the largest of which is the Minerva Crater, which is 500 miles in diameter. The lack of craters can be attributed to the extremely dense atmosphere, in which anything small burns out. This, however, presents a problem for scientists studying the surface. It significantly reduces the chances of figuring out the age of the relief. As a result, scientists are unsure how geologically active Titan is or whether it has a tectonic plate system like Earth. Titan also has some dark areas. Scientists hypothesized that this was the location of the methane oceans. However, when Huygens landed in that exact location, it discovered no liquid. Closer inspections revealed that these dark spots are deserts. When they were compared against Earth's deserts, it became clear they are extremely similar and formed as a result of the same processes as on Earth. Due to the climate system operating on Titan, with its own seasons and wind patterns, a dune system composed of thalen soot and organic substances was formed. However, due to Titan's low gravity, a wind of 11 miles per hour is sufficient to start a dust storm. Although the sand on Titan is organic, scientists are still searching for an answer as to what created it. It was initially assumed that this sand was formed from the remnants of methane that falls from the sky when it rains. And because methane in its liquid form transports stolen soot from the atmosphere to the surface, as the methane evaporates, the particle left behind forms the sand. However, because it rarely rains on Titan, the leading theory now is that the sand simply falls out of the fallen haze directly onto the surface, much like snow on the surface of a satellite. Scientists are still debating the composition of Titan's lakes and the materials that make up their shores. Kraken Mare and Legea Mare are the only bodies of water in the solar system apart from Earth where liquid has been found on the surface. The main mystery that remains unanswered is whether this moon can sustain life. There are two main theories about whether Titan can support life. According to the first theory, the conditions on Titan are too harsh for any known life form to exist. The average surface temperature is around negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, and the atmosphere is mostly made of nitrogen and methane. Furthermore, the lack of liquid on the surface, which is required for life as we know it, casts doubt on the possibility of life on Titan. The second theory, on the other hand, suggests that life on Titan could exist in a different form, utilizing different chemical processes than those found on Earth. Some scientists believe that the presence of organic molecules on Titan, such as sand and fallen haze, may support microbial life that does not require liquid to survive. This hypothesis is supported by the discovery of hydrogen cyanide in the atmosphere, which is a key ingredient for the formation of amino acids, the building blocks of life. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.